We got up with Brian Doherty here at Commodity Classic Total Form Marketing. Brian, as we talk about the volatility in the markets that we've seen, we have seen a, an absolute rodeo over the last couple of weeks. How do we, how do we handle this? How do we prepare to try to you know, not only just take advantage, but but make sure that we're we're protected here? Yeah. So, so the, it's a double-sided coin. Right. You've got those who produce it and need to manage the inventory, and then you've got those who use it, and they need to manage what they want to buy. So, so both sides are managing inventory is what I call it. So from a producer perspective, the farmer perspective, in particular as we look ahead to 2022's crop, we're near 650 on the board. That could be $8, 850 It could be 450 We don't know. So it's really about balancing that, making sure you're making good sales at right levels, covering those sales with the right tool. The right tool, talk to your advisor on. It could be a call option, a bull call spread, something that keeps you ownership of those grain bushels because the prices go higher, you're going to want to sell more. Historically, people that start selling, they have a tendency to freeze when prices get better because they feel like they made a mistake. It's not a mistake. Making incremental sales, set targets, but balance that and then look at buying puts if you're a producer to put a floor in the market, leave the top side open. End users should really heed the idea that corn world supplies could get really tight, especially if someone like China comes in and really starts to buy up U.S. corn. So make sure that as an end user, don't think it's high, it could get higher, cover it. Now once you own it, now you manage that inventory so you can buy a put against that. So whichever way the market goes, you're positioned. Yeah. It's a little technical, but it's doable, and that's how you need to manage this in this high volatile window. And there's always you know, the chance that you're going to get in here and try to figure out what your input costs are going to be, and, and you've got to be able to stay above those input costs for sure as we go forward. Oh, for sure. The biggest, biggest uh, you know, fear producers have is chasing the input market, and then prices tip over and they don't have much of anything sold. So doing nothing last year was the best strategy, could be the worst strategy this year. It's an extreme to do nothing. So think about how to push a pencil to it, manage it, and then put it into a, uh, some sort of mathematical formula so you know where you sit no matter where the market goes. All right, Brian, appreciate it. Thank you, great advice. We'll be back with more Agnet coming up in just a minute. To discuss marketing strategies, call 800-334-9779.